definitely owned this guy for more than two weeks. He still has that hide, which he does not use whatsoever. Sand mat, that's not actual sand. Some of those rock things do loosen up his main basking area. Now, this is plastic. I do know that it's not hot enough for this guy at the moment. There's a couple things I could do. I could elevate everything, so probably put a box under it, which is probably what I'm going to do. More than two weeks with this guy. He's most definitely grown accustomed. We got him perked up right here. Hopefully he doesn't go free willy and let go. These guys' little nails are extremely, really tiny nails that could just clench, clench into little holes and stuff. So they're really good climbers. Oh gosh, no. Why are you running? Let's see, he knows, he knows. It's like, okay, okay, I'll get on top of your hand. Damn, little guy. When this guy grows up, he is not going to be this quick. He's going to be extremely lazy like a blart. Honestly, I hope it's a girl. Little shed spot on top of its head. I have been giving this guy baths. He's also been using the restroom while I give him showers. Pretty good way to potty train a bearded dragon. Looks like he's shedding, so the showers most definitely help him with the shedding. Let's go ahead and bury him with the rat sweater. Yo, taco. Pretty important you handle your bearded dragon. You want to get them accustomed to being picked up and stuff. Hold him down, dude. Show him. You are the commander. When they're older, they should their diet should consist of mostly greens. So it's really important you introduce greens. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys exactly how I'm trying to introduce this dude to eat greens. Because right now, he's pretty bad. We got the greens chopped up. Definitely not going to want to eat that. We're going to need to put some live food over it. We got some dubia roaches. Go ahead and grab a couple. Mix them up and divide them in. So the point, the hey, wait, oh son, now audience. Okay, there's some that are swimming at the moment. Let's put them in there. You see, we most definitely will always go for live. That's why we're putting. Putting them over the green so we could get a little bit more accustomed to the greens. So yeah, there it is. That's his current setup. I still have half of it blocked off. I reckon he has grown a little, maybe? I feel like, yeah, most definitely, because he used to, I used to pick him up with my pinky, but... Now I can pick him up with my thumb. <laughs> the rat, the rat, the rat. It'd be nice, the rat. These are some of the roaches from the colony. Oh, jeez. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, my gosh. Gonna try and breed these superworms. So you just gotta separate them. Oh, 
couple of worms. What are you gonna do, Blam? <laughs> One of them turned into a cocoon. I've never seen a bearded dragon eat one of these. Oh, gosh. 